What's up guys, Shams11. So you've got your new Xbox One X, either the standard version or the Project Scorpio. And there's a few things that you'll wanna do to make sure you get the most out of your system. So the obvious one when you first boot up is you have to log in and reinstall your profile. Pretty standard stuff. If you've owned an Xbox before, you can do this fairly easily. Just follow the instructions on the screen, but you're gonna to want to make sure everything works in 4K. Now. Most smart TVs, which let's face it, if you've got 4K, you've got a smart TV, will automatically be detected by the Xbox One X and it will come up with the message, would you like to switch over to 4K picture? Just click yes and it does it all, that's it. But in case it doesn't or you want to check it for yourself, all you've got to do is head on over to your settings and then you want to go down to display and sound and click on video output. Now. Because of the way capturing video works, uh, I don't have a 4K capture card, so this is going through a 1080p capture card. So it's thinking that I don't have a 4K telly, but I assure you I do. Over here where it says TV resolution, um, you'll have 720p, 1080p, and 4K. Obviously you want that to be on 4K. And you can go down to advanced video settings and all the way down here from allow 50 hertz, allow 24 hertz, HDR and 4K should all be ticked. Now allow YCC422, you don't need, unless you're having some serious troubles, that's the only time you wanna use that. Other than that, leave that one unchecked, but all the others should be checked automatically. Um, you can also go into 4K details. As you can see, because again, it thinks I haven't got a 4K telly, all of mine are blocked, but yours will all have ticks. TV resolution, watching movies and TV, playing games, and indeed you can scroll down to capture as well. And it'll tell you how advanced your 4K is. If you have a full 4K HDR TV, all of these will be ticked. If you have 4K but not HDR, some will be ticked and others won't. And if you don't have a 4K telly, it will look like this. So you can check all of that for yourself. Now another thing you might want to do is head down to preferences and go into broadcast and capture. Now if you stream games, chances are you're going to want to change these settings. Mixer on Xbox One by default broadcast games ridiculously loudly and it's a lot easier changing these settings here so boosting your mic and lowering the game volume here than doing it per game and waiting for some to join your chat and say there's something wrong. There's a good chance that if you're broadcasting a game very loudly, people won't stay around uh, to let you know anyway. So change that now. Now the other thing you can do while we're here is go into your game clip resolution. If you like capturing your game clips, you can change what resolution you want right here. I only have the two options, um, but when hooked up to a 4K TV, this will give you 1080p HDR, 4K and 4K HDR. But just remember those two 4K options are only available in 30 seconds maximum. Um, I like my videos to be two clips, sorry, to be two minutes long. Um, so I might boost mine to 1080p HDR, but that's fine with me. Now, the other thing is your capture location. If you have an external hard drive free, you can save your captures here. You can record up to an hour's worth, but just bear in mind, you can't capture footage on the same external drive where you have games saved. You are going to need two external hard drives if you want that option. If like me, you don't have an external hard drive, it's not a problem, so just leave it as internal. Now, when you go to install your games, your pins are all gonna be in the same place. They will all be there, but any digital content you will need to reinstall. And pretty easy to do, and I'm sure a lot of you know this, if you go to My Games and Apps, everything waiting to be installed is right here under Ready to Install. Simply click on whatever you want and add it to the queue to update it and to install it again. Uh, you can see a list of what's queued up to be installed, what is currently installing, and the latest things that you have installed. As well as games, remember to do your apps. A lot of them are missing. You will want things like your Blu-ray player, uh, EA Access, uh, Netflix, Upload Studio, Ubisoft Club, YouTube, all very useful. And another one, if you are a preview member, is you're going to want to do the Xbox Insider Hub again, because although your gamertag is registered, it's actually the console that's in preview, not you. So you will need to re-register your console. Now over here on the right, it will say preview build available. You click on it and it will enroll you again. Now I'm only on the beta or beta 
Um, if you're in alpha, you can choose that. If you're in delta, you can choose that. Um, you can choose which preview thing you, you want to be enrolled in again, Omega or unenroll, and you can click on it. It will say pending, but actually it will do it pretty much straight away. Uh, all I did was kind of look around a little bit. I, I went into settings and had a look and came back out and it had just magically re-enrolled me. Now, the other thing you may want to consider doing is if like me, you have traded in your old console, you'll want to take it out of preview because you don't want that linked to you. Whatever they're doing in preview is up to them. Um, I do believe it's this one, but I will have to double check which one it is. And you simply click on it, click done, and that will take that device off of the system. There are a few new things we can do to try and boost if like me and you forgot all about this thing and um, have got a very low score. Now's the time to do a few extra quests to boost up your XP. Now again, if like me, you are someone who has previously had a custom background that will have disappeared, make sure you install the external media app. And then when you push in, there we go, media storage is ready. We hold the middle button and it will load up the media player um, simply with your picture on there. And yes, there is all sorts of stuff on here because everybody uses this. Um, you can see the picture you want have a good look at it and press what used to be the start button, the three lines, and it will say set as background. Simply click on it and it's done. That's your background set. Uh, for those wondering where I got these images from, I went to this amazing place called Google and I Googled Xbox One backgrounds. And that is it. That should, fingers crossed if we back out, now be set as my background. Now, again, while we're here, for those who don't know, your custom Gamer pick should be fine. That should come over with you. Um, if it hasn't, it's very easy to sort out. We're just gonna go over onto our profile, go into my profile, and under customize profile, you can change your gamer pick. And up in the top right, it will give you the option to upload a custom image. Now, again, you can do that on the stick like I have, or you can use Dropbox. Again, just use the Dropbox app that you will need to install. Uh, if you don't have access to a PC for some reason, you can still do this on your phone using Dropbox. Just make sure the image is the correct size. It will be the third option down here. So you have internal on your Xbox. This is my removable drive. And then you will have Dropbox. Simply click on the picture and as long as it meets the requirements and doesn't break any rules it will update pretty much instantaneously now it is only available to people who are over 18 and I will tell you why it's because people have abused it and done it wrong basically you need to be accountable if you put up a picture of a swastika or something violent or something racist or something aggressive and somehow it gets through the filter and it's up there you are accountable for it not Microsoft you as an adult children can't be held to the same laws as adults so it is only available to 18 year olds now unfortunately it's because of people abusing the system that this has happened so I feel very sorry if you've been honest and put your correct date of birth and it says you were a child well done for doing the right thing yes it sucks that your mates at school have probably got this and you haven't uh, but that is the reason why and in all honesty it doesn't make that much of a difference to any of the games uh, so there we go we've covered how to get 4k up and running on your TV um, in case you're still having problems it may be an issue with your television I have Samsung it's under the uh, extra settings um, you go into the HDMI uh, port that you want in my case HDMI 1 and you allow HD 4k TV um, there are a few different settings for multiple TVs there are some very good guides around just google it you'll find it quite easily uh, we've gone into downloading various apps reinstalling uh, your preview your background and your custom gamer pick i hope it's helped i hope this has set you up please do enjoy some 4k gaming uh, i for one have been playing a lot of assassin's creed origins in 4k and it is mind-blowingly good it's superb i've just installed call of duty so i'm looking forward to playing that one um hit me up with any messages or any questions you've got i will do my best to either provide you with a link to someone that can help um, aka scratch look up scratch he is a good friend of mine uh, he does a lot of guides very very useful um, or i will try and do a video for you myself if i can do it thank you ever so much for watching till next time